Good morning, good morning. It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds. What is going on, my divine and finance feminine? What is going on, my babies? I want to say happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday, fun day to you. You know we are here to get our divine feminine new levels messages. And today I was guided to do a pick a card reading. Okay, we're going to get into this. Because this reading, um, I feel like it's going to be catered in to each person's individual personalities what each person is individually going through instead of it just being a collective reading so I you know if God tell me to do something I'm gonna do what he tell me to do so I want to give a shout out to all my OGs I want to give a shout out to all my newbies I want to give a shout out to all my babies for like share subscribing and supporting me Coming back into the fold, doing what the Father God has been told me to do. He done told me to do this. Okay, so I'm back at it. Okay, I'm back, back at it. So we're going to um, always, you know, give Father God acknowledgement, praise, and thanks before we get into the readings. So um, if you ladies wouldn't mind, you know, on this beautiful Sunday, bow your head with me and saying a quick prayer. Father God, we want to thank you so much for bringing us here collectively. Um, we are here to get New Levels reading guidance for our Divine Feminines. You know, we are in this new journey. We are um, looking for prosperity and stability, Father God, and just genuine love and um, real friend and family ship, you know. So, Father God, we thank you so much for all your generosity. We thank you so much for that hope and that faith and just the passion that lives inside of us because we're not stopping we are not stopping anything that gets in our way anything that looks like a distraction we're just moving around and we're not fussing fighting we're not rolling in the mud with swine we we, we learned our lesson and, and that's why this is a new levels read we're in this new level we're being patient with ourselves we're still learning but acknowledging so much growth that we're seeing in, in our actions every day. So, Father God, we want to thank you so much for all of that elevation. And again, um, we're here to do this pick a card reading to figure out where each individual Divine Feminine is at in their level, in their stage. So, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today. And, Father God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for holding us. Thank you for molding us. Thank you for spoiling us. Thank you so much for just pushing us along our journey um, into this new world, into this new phase, into this new level. So, Father God, I thank you so much uh, for all of the blessings and lessons that you have um, brought us through. And, you know, most of all, Father God, thank you for being a friend, okay? We travel around the world and back again. Our heart is true. You a pal and a confidant. Father God, thank you for being a friend, okay? Amen, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being a friend. All right. Shalala, we love you. All right. So, my guys, I am going to put a thumbnail right up in here if you did not see our divine selection. So, I'm going to put that right here for you. All right. So, if you have picked pile number one, if you pick the sign of Aries in this bracelet, this is pile number one. If you have picked number four in this bracelet, number two is all about you. All right? If you've picked number three, then you know. Hold on. Yeah. You pick number three with this bracelet, then you know power number three is where it be. All right? Number three and number three. And oh my goodness, I, I just have to say the um, center energy card for power number three is so beautiful. With the bracelet, and it is like so beautiful. I am very curious to see what power number three is saying because it's like just the color structure and just everything is just screaming to me. Okay, but anyway, um, if you picked the Pisces, treat me nice, please. If you pick the Pisces sign and this smoky quartz bracelet, power number four, 
it's where you're going to get more, baby. All right? So let's get into this, you guys. Let's move these piles on over here. Let's move these piles on over here. And let's get into pile number one. Pile number one, your journey has just begun. If you pick the sign of Aries in this gold stone bracelet, y'all, I just want y'all to get into this gold stone bracelet. Do y'all see how beautiful this bracelet is? Oh my God. It just, you have to just witness this in person to just see all of the like little gold specks and just how it sparkles and it just dances in the light. Do you guys be dancing in the light? Are you a private dancer? Dancing for money? Do what you want me to do. So let me start. I'm so serious. Like, this thing just be dancing and sparkling and shining. So, like, I don't know, you guys. You guys might be shining. And, you know, with that Aries, you know, I'm bossy. I'm the boss that threw on the track. I'm the one that's been in the... I don't know the fuck word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Khalees, I'm sorry. Khalees, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go. Let's get into this. Let's see what we got going on for you, Divine and Fire Energy. Let's see what your center energy is. For this week, you got vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. Because you're a prophet dancer, dancing for money. Do what you want to do. Hold on. <laughs> private dancer not for nothing i'm not saying that y'all trying to get no stripper money like don't take that personal okay y'all i'm having fun but at the same time don't act like we don't have no people out here that got a whole lot of talent and a whole lot of assets okay girlfriend stop playing with it like pole aerobics is lit Y'all stop acting like polar blade and y'all have not thought about it. So if this is someone that is scared about getting their stomach together, like say your ass is already looking, you know, the way that you want it to look, your thighs, hips, everything is doing what you need to do. You're just trying to get this little mommy pouch together. Pole aerobics. Don't worry about what nobody got to say, girl. Be a prophet to end the game. You can look at dancing for money. Do look, you look. Tell your man to tip you. Tell your man to tip you and strip you. Tell your man to tip you and strip you, girl. Like, girl, stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. I feel like it's something that you can have fun with and actually get a very good workout. That is a very good abdominal workout pole aerobics. Please stop playing with it. And I keep trying to tell y'all, stop judging people. Like, I don't care. Look, I love me a good scripper. I told y'all I've been trying to learn how to twerk that left butt cheek real good. I need both of my jokes to twerk in unison. Girl, I'm trying to. I need me a stripper friend. Okay? Y'all need to stop judging people, okay? Whatever it is. Now, and now. If, if, if you ain't trying to work your left butt cheek, if you ain't trying to get your stomach together and you think about doing polo aerobics, just whatever it is that you've been envisioning in your mind that you've set out for your future to do, it's time for you to like really take action on that. And we're about to get into the mindset of where you're about to be in this week. And we're reloaded. We're about to see what's going on with you, honey girl. You've got that peacock. Okay. Pe you know, peacocks are arrogant. Hold on. <laughs> Because I got the Aries too. <laughs> you know, peacocks are arrogant. And then you got that Aries sign. So, you know, Aries represents someone being active, ambitious, assertive, competitive, courageous, creative, enthusiastic, extroverted, free. Uh, what did they say? Self assured. That is most definitely some peacock energy. Because, you know, peacock, they like to go out there and spread them the, uh, spread the wings, let the tail feathers shake. They like to shake a little tail feather. I swear to God, well, I feel like one of y'all some dancers. Well, I feel like group number one, y'all some dancers. I would love to see. Look, I'm a fan. Yes, I am. I Look, I fall in love with women when I see them, like, do that pole 
mastery. Like, if you a vicious on a pole, baby, I am so, so, <laughs> something. That is like art. Why do people be sh sleeping on strippers? Like, they be lazy ass hoes strippers just because they got a fat ass that they don't pay for and they think that they pretty. Like, they don't really get it to the art of like exotic dancing. Being like a burlesque dancer, just selling someone the fantasy and also like showing someone a certain level of skill. And I'm expensive. Like, like this is, I don't know why I'm getting, why am I getting, it's either like strippers or some type of burlesque artistry. Um, someone doing some type of clothes. I, I don't know if y'all do clothes for people that are in like the arts or um, entertainment, like costume art, um, even makeup, anything where you're helping somebody look glamorous and to be in the character in performing arts entertainment industry is it, it, this peacock i'm totally getting entertainment but i'm getting confidence i'm getting arrogance i'm getting someone that spends a lot of money on their look on their aesthetic that's why they charge the amount of money that they do that's why they kind of have like the air that they have about them it's because i put a lot of work i trained a lot like People don't understand. And again, I don't want to. Why I keep talking about strippers? Maybe I got some strippers that um, watch me. What's up, boo boo? How you do? Inbox me, girl. Titty shake for you. Inbox me, girl. Okay, anyway, listen. Someone that gets up there in the gym all the time. People don't think that strippers. I don't know what type of lifestyle that they think strippers have. They're the most clean, athletic. They are people persons they know how to um read people's personality to know where they're gonna be able to sell and make money and where they're wasting their time they know their time is money they carry their self like they are a prized possession and that is like an energy of that's what i'm getting here it's like i don't know it's like this person envisions their self in this boasty cocky um, I'm that bitch attitude. I'm the best that ever done it. I get up and I practice every day. I spend a lot of money on my shit, and y'all going you you you're gonna pay me everything that I'm worth. Let me read the book to see exactly what they're saying about this peacock energy. But it's like talented, skilled, and you see. All of those eyes you see all of the eyes and the feathers you see how it um, resembles her natural eyes so I feel like this person is always in touch always in touch always knows what's going on and like I said knows how to read other people like a book so this person may be a, um, a seer may have another good skill in um, investigation this person could do like forensic scientific well I feel like when this person go in hotels like they pull out a blue light <laughs> whether it's a black light a blue light or whatever the hell it is and they be seated like if it stains and all of, like this person is gets down to the nitty gritty dots eyes cross T's make sure no page is unturned like it's like some type of investigative work that this person is very good at to research i feel like this person is just could be very fixated on whatever passion or whatever ambition that they may have and once they get into it they're not going to stop until they kind of get burnt out and lose their desire for it and then Find something else to kind of fixate their self on. So this could be a fixed sign. A Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Scorpio. But let me see what this peacock. Let me see what that peacock. I'm going to see what that peacock. Like I said, let me see what the peacock. 
See, I just, I don't be knowing what's in the pile, so I don't even, y'all forgive me. Now I'm going to have to thumb through this book and find out what page I'm reading. And then it don't tell you what animal is on what page. Okay, the peacock. And it says, inner beauty, compassion, assimilator of anything. The beauty of the peacock, of the peacock is unrivaled. It is easy to think it comes from the plumage. But the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life. So it does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain within its psyche. The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advancement level of accepting of the self and others. When in balance, they're confident and kind. When out of balance, they can't digest situations. Okay? So again, like I said, this person is very confident, very self-assured, knows who they are. You're visionary. You see all of those eyes there. So you see exactly where you should be and you see the truth in others off the bat. Very talented and like I said, you're very dedicated um, in your craftsmanship. Like whatever it is that you see yourself doing, you go at it full throttle. Like you would spend any amount of money that you have, like you would empty your bank account on it, on classes, on equipment, on apparel, or whatever. Like even if you go, let's say you just enrolled in school, you about to go to the apparel shop and you gonna be school logo down, like your school apparel down, like you know what I'm saying? It's like you gonna represent your shit in the best way possible. In the best way possible. So let's see why you're getting this message about, um, you know, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. And the fact that I keep singing out private dancer as well, it's like whatever your talent and your gift is, I feel like you should be and are that confident in your craft where at this point in time you really do need to be paid for uh, what you're worth you really really do you spend a lot you spent a lot and you value yourself very high and I don't think you're gonna get too crazy with it but people gonna pay you your worth and that's just it so let's see why are you getting this message you got the high priestess and the reverse and the seven of pentacles you got the marriage card. Hold on. Because I feel like I don't flip these damn cards. I definitely don't flip these damn cards up. Whatever. So, <clears throat> you got the high priestess in the reverse. And then you got the seven of pentacles. So, I feel like you're getting this message because there's something that you should be the understudy of right now. But... I feel like you should be spending a little bit more time on like practicing your skills, your training abilities, um, studying. There's something about with the high priestess in the reverse. It's like you may be spending a lot of time out. You may be spending a lot of your energy out being visible in the external world. You may need to spend a little bit more time inside studying, taking care of your own business. I do get here, especially with the um, peacock, it's like a socialite, someone that's like a pleasure seeker. You like to do what the world likes to be doing. Like you like to be out there. Like you like to be seen and celebrated type of thing like that. 
but it's something about with this high priestess and the reverse. It's like you have a lot of learning to do. You have a lot of um, tightening up and refreshing on your skills. It's like you're not ready to go and show off yet. You know? So if it's like you try to go and compete against another high priestess, like they'll be able to see like you haven't even taken your training wheels off yet. And they will beat you. At everything that you're trying to do. Like they will outsmart you. They will outshine you. And it will, it will be like a gut punch to your ego. So you need to take some more time. Indoors and practice. This is the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is someone that. Is tended to their. Garden. That is raking up leaves. That is weeding. Like in order for your crops to grow. You got to understand that they're a natural hazardous things that can um you know get in the way of the prosperity of the growth of your crops there's natural uh pests that'll come and try to steal your crops there's weeds there's you know um yeah like weeds like weeds will try to grow around your crops and then steal the sunlight so your crops won't grow and get the proper nutrition and things that it needs to grow but you have to put the work in every day you can't just go and plant a seed and just think you don't have to go outside and and take care of it no like you have to take care of it so it's something with this group here it's like you want to be seen you want to be known you want to be popular you want to be paid for your work but at the same time you need to work for you need to put in a little bit more time and i've noted that you really see yourself doing this and being successful at it and you will especially with this seven of pentacles here you will but you need to take a little bit more time out of your day and invest it in yourself because with the high priestess in the reverse like the high priestess is someone i want to be outdoors that is like wants to be social the high priestess naturally is not someone that is a socialite she's someone that keeps to herself that honors herself by focusing on her responsibilities and her practice she's not worried about being outside because there's too many people that are vision seekers that are coming to her to know the truth but if you too busy like seeking attention and and being visible it's something about when it, it's something about if someone comes to you you not being there you're not being available because you're outside. It's like you're doing something else. Instead of what you should be doing. Tending to your business. And like the seven of pentacles. Like if it turns around. And the flip side. That can be like spoiled goods. It's like you could have spent all your time. And all your money. And all of your investments on. Um, trying to predict your reality and try to prepare for your future but you didn't take care of the things you need to take care of and by the time you came back and realized oh I need to do this and this and that because my money depends on it everything is spoiled and gone you know you lost your investment and you lost the future profit that you could have made from the investment because you didn't take care of your business do you understand what I'm saying The high priestess is someone that got a lot of power that don't know no better. It's like you got the world in your hands, but you lack integrity and responsibility for what you call your own. Like, do you understand? It's like there's a lot of responsibility with the high priestess um, power and energy. And you really have to, like, pay attention. It's not just about the title you can have the title but you have to practice and be responsible for what it is that you're envisioning yourself to be so i feel like you're getting this message because someone 
is on their way because you do have this seven of pentacles here so the seven of pentacles is a very good card you just got to be patient and got to put a little bit more work in it's something about you not being ready yet um what hold on so okay so sensor energy the mindset why are you getting this message what do you have to look forward to in the future and you got the marriage card which i think is very important for you to recognize that there's a strong level of commitment commitment so you could be marrying yourself to this vision there could be actual marriage coming to you in the future so listen for my ladies if there is actual marriage on the table how is it going to look if you constantly outside Did, what in the hold on y'all I'm so sorry my god Anyway, so it's like, how are you going to look if you constantly outside and you're not going to be available to receive it? It's just, I feel like it's just not going to look good for you. Whoever this person is wants someone that's more of a homebody, wants someone that's more established in the home. Not necessarily saying that you can't go out and have a good time, but... They want someone that is focused in, on task and taking care of business. Like the high priestess in the reverse with the seven of pentacles. This is like someone that has an obligation that's not paying attention to their obligation. And in, in general, the high priestess in the reverse is someone that's not taking care of a responsibility. Or that does not understand the responsibility of the power that they have. They're not studying. They're not focused. They're too busy trying to be outside um and then the high priestess represents fertility as well so with it being in the reverse it's like you infertile like nothing is growing it's like you know you're not able to produce life because you're not it's like your system your body something that ain't ready you know so mm -hmm. okay so let's get into this um what's the message for the future for my group number one you got the Page of Cups. You got the Star card. And then you got the Five of Cups. So this is good. This is good. Especially with the marriage being here. The vision. I'm getting here now that I see all of the cards on the table. Like you guys could have in the past could have lost a pregnancy. You guys could be envisioning uh, yourself being fertile. You feel beautiful. Like you see yourself coming into a new level of commitment. I feel like you've been patient. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on your environment. But I, I'm still going to stick to my original message. It's something that you need to Pay attention to, stay indoors, practice, work on personally. Because the high priestess is like the all-seeing, all-knowing, you know, future teller. Not only that, like she's a person of, of principle and moral and respect. And everyone looks to her. Everyone seeks her for guidance and knowledge. And she doesn't give that to everybody. So. I am going to say this too. And don't take it offense. But group number one. like Me saying that she doesn't give that to everybody. I don't know if there was somebody that is going through like a whole phase right now. Excuse me. But you know. Look. <laughs> I ain't judging nobody. At all. But I feel like you need to realize just how beautiful you are. How much quality you bring to the table. Like, don't sell yourself short at all. Like, pay attention to everything that you know that you are and that you've learned. So, the high priestess in the reverse could also be someone that's not 
following their teaching, following their learning. And you got the star right here. And you got the page of cups. You got the page of cups going into the knight of cups. So you're moving from the page of cups where it's just like, yeah, it's time to, it's time to take the training wheels off. Your passions are growing. Your desires are growing. Things are moving quicker. You're moving faster. Like, have you ever um, started learning how? That's just like when I started learning how to be a nail technician, which I need to get my damn nails done. I need to get me a new nail, um, a new nail drill. Um, when I first started being a nail technician, it used to take me days, like a whole weekend, just to get my nails done for me to do my nails. Now it's just like I'm so passionate. And I'm so skilled. And I kept practicing and I kept training. Like, it take me a couple of hours to do my nails. Full set. By myself. Me doing my nails. And, yeah. And I'm self-taught. So, with that star right there, it's like you could be natural. You could be gifted. It could be everything that you've been hoping, dreaming, praying for. Like, your faith. It's like it's coming to you. And you're seeing your growth. You're seeing your growth. I want you to spend more time practicing and developing and understanding the star power that you have. Like, I, well, I feel like someone's looking, it's like, um, for popularity, it's like, I don't necessarily feel like it has something to, to do with someone being seen. I just heard, it's like it's like whoever this group is it's like you just like to show off sometime there is like a, a a level of boastiness and arrogance and you know confidence within this group and impatience I feel like this group can be very impatient but all your talents and all your money is going to go to waste if you don't hone it in and take care of business at home because everything that you see yourself doing you're going to be able to do but you need to practice you need to focus you need to really put your intentions into it it's not time to be celebrated yet you understand what I'm saying you got the five of cups in the reverse so this is basically telling me that you guys are like uh, seeing so much happiness so much uh personal fulfillment you see your um, home circumstances growing when you walk into your home you feel comfortable you feel loved you feel invited uh you're around good company now and i feel like that's why you want to go outside and you're doing all of the things that you need to do but there's a lot of things you need to tend to at home like your home is uh important and it's like family first so I don't know if there's someone that may have kids and need to hear that. Like family first as well. Family first. But it's like this group right here. It's like you feel uh, like you're in a place of rejoice and celebration in your life. You could have overcome um, a part in your life where you were like maybe struggling. And you were going through a point of healing. And like that's over now. And you really, really feel very full of yourself. And you just want to gallivant and travel. And you want to be seen and things like that. But it's like, um, it's a recovery after the healing process. Like you, you, you still need to, it's just not time yet. Hold on, I, I got, hold on, hold on you guys. Excuse me, I got that pizza. Right, I am back you guys so that was my pal one we are on group number two group number two what it do so if you picked this blue bracelet with the number four 
Baby, come on over here and get some more. Let's come over here and get your reading, boo-boo. Let's see. Let's, let me put this braces on. Let's get your reading, Papa. So, let's see what the center energy is. The center energy is observation. It says, expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. It's time to be observant, okay? Pay attention, all right? So let's see the mindset that is going to be set forth for this week, you guys. You have the whale. You have the big fish, okay? You guys are, um, I want to say very confident in this season in your life. You're taking things, uh, you're taking your approach slower, because you're the biggest fish in the sea, you're not going to move as quick as the dolphins. You're not going to be as vicious as the shark. But baby, trust me, when they see your big ass coming through, people think about what they're doing before they do it. Um, and again, I feel like you're so gentle. You're so peaceful. You're so reserved. You're so graceful right now. You don't feel a need to rush. You're just taking things at a very slow and calm pace. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on for you guys. We got the Eight of Wands. We got the Chariot. And we got the Six of Wands in the reverse. So... I feel like right now they're telling you to um, be observant because even though you are not in a rush and you're just being very graceful and patient in your nature, things are coming to you very quickly. Um, there's a lot of success. There's a lot of hidden doors that are being uh, revealed and open to you. Your talent. Um how self-assured you are, your wisdom, your knowledge. I, I feel like this group may be older too. You may be older. So it's like you have so much um, history and life lessons in you where you bring a lot of uh, experience to the table. So it's you can perform acts or you can uh, handle and process tasks in a certain way that other people may not be able to uh, present the same level of professionalism and quality as you do. I feel like you're very reserved. Um, you're not in the mix, especially in business endeavors. Like you're all about business. Like, you're not about trying to make friends. Like, you go and you do your eight and be great and you go home and be divine and fine. You understand? Like, you are not a type of person that um, you involve yourself with mess. Um, you believe in exclusivity. And if it's not that, it's like you're peaceful in whatever it is that you're doing. You don't want to be disturbed. It's like you've gone through too much in your life where it's like you're very comfortable in where you're at. And things are going your way. You're seeing the progress. And I don't feel a boastiness, um, like an overwhelming sense of arrogance, pride, and confidence, almost like... No shade, but that's that's kind of like how I had like a group number one. I felt like that in group number one, but it's like they didn't have the skills that was required yet for them to feel that way about themselves. So they really need to take a little bit more time and go do some learning. Whereas though group two, it's like you guys already been through those lessons like two or three times already. You know, so I feel like this is an older group. This is someone that is older. You guys could be in your 40s mid-40s, probably like mid to late 30s, like you're in a place of new beginnings and your talent is speaking for itself. People could be jealous of you right now. Um, 
group number two with the six of wands in reverse that's why they're telling you to be observant because i feel like as you're thriving as you're being more successful as people are calling you out and recognizing you for the things that you're doing for your passion for your talents and your skills and again you got to re recognize that the eight of wands has to do with um like people speaking about you like your name has been spoken in rooms that you haven't even entered the doors in yet because they seen what you did over here with these people or for these people and they're like oh i would like to work with this person too or i will i want to be with someone like that too or i would like a friend like that too or i would like someone to design my stuff like that too so it's like you're being sought out I feel like you could also, and again, I feel like this group, you guys could have taken your time. You didn't move quickly. You just really took your time to develop your skills. Oh, and I, I'm just noticing because I'm just channeling. I didn't even pay attention to look at the car. You see how this person is laying there on the floor sleeping while it's like you're doing all of the work? And it's like that's why you're getting a recognition. So it could be someone that ever was sleeping on you or was sleeping on the job or wasn't pulling their end of the bargain. It's like someone has some type of level of laziness and it's like because they didn't show up and do what they were supposed to do, it made it as though that the only person that people seen was you it made your talent shine <laughs> you see that chariot now you feel more confident you feel more free you see how things are moving for you you could be moving up you could be getting a promotion you could be moving your residence you whatever it is that you're doing you definitely feel confident and it's like look nature is taking shape of its own it really is. It's taking a shape of its own and you, you can't do anything but go with it. But there's certain people that may feel some type of way about you. People that you may thought that were your friends, people that you thought were your colleagues or it was like some type of group mentality and it's like you, you feel like now a lot of people are turning against you and it's cool because you're in a league of your own. These were people that they didn't show up when they were supposed to because if you would have shown up when you was when you were supposed to, you would have got the recognition as well. But because you didn't do something that was required for you to do, they saw my talent alone and they want my talent alone. And I'm and and it's good. It's good. I could succeed by myself. Let's see what. Um, let me read this whale energy. Let me see what this says. It says desire to deliver and to delve deeper profound peace ancient wisdom the well represents profound emotional health and stability the well personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrains as they have overcome many challenges in their life their experiences have enriched them giving them stability strength and a depth that is rare well, energy is usually linked to a feminine force of compassion and communication. We can deepen on well personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. When in balance, they're calm, steady, and deeply compassionate. When out of balance, they're heavy, and slips into an old story. Make sure that you guys give me, give yourself regular self care. And again, pay attention of the people that's around you, and how it makes them feel about your success. Cause look at this person. Because this is the Six of Wands going into the Seven of Wands. 
But this is the Six of Wands. So it's showing you that as you are like gaining popularity, gaining recognition, gaining success, feeling more confident within yourself, people are going to turn their back on you. The Seven of Wands is where people start making the accusations about you. Like, um, it's like unfortunate events. Like, next thing you know, like, you end up getting into a scuffle or a confrontation or like, like I said, someone ends up backstabbing and, and turning their back on you. And it's like, you weren't prepared for that. Like, why would you look forward to that when the only thing you were looking forward to your success, you weren't paying attention to enemies around you. You weren't thinking that these people weren't your friends. You didn't think that these people weren't trying to make the same moves that you were trying to do. It's like you realized quickly that you were in the league of your own because... Why you were trying to see success in these levels of goals that you had. Like, I, I, I have a goal to achieve this. I want to get a new car. I want to go back to school. I wanted to move out of this apartment and finally purchase my own house. Give me a condo, a townhouse, or something like that. Um, I want to have a successful relationship. Like you can have all of these different buckets of goals that you wanted to see successes in in your life. That mean very much importance to you, especially in your career, your own stability, and your financial prosperity. But these people were resistant to that. And it's not that you needed help by any means. Because I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do what I need to do anyway. But these are the, like people that could have said like, oh yeah, I want to do that too. Mr. Me too. But when it came time to put the proof in the pudding, these motherfuckers were asleep. And now they mad. Because you were... <laughs> Confidently moving on and they being left behind and that's okay. Like that's okay That's okay, like it says in as well energy like you've been through this before so like <laughs> You just gonna gracefully continue along on your journey. You ain't trying to move fast You ain't trying to move quicker than them. You ain't in no competition with nobody You just being who you are I'm naturally the biggest fish in the sea. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. So you got the toil and labor. And I that was in the reverse when I picked these cards up. So there will be like a reduction of you feeling like you're having to as work as hard as you did. I just heard there's no more sleeping on the job moving forward. Like these people are going to have to work just as hard as you because it's like you're not going to take the brunt of the responsibility going forward by yourself. I feel like you may be um, exalted in a place of management. I don't feel like this is you at all um, going through no toil and labor. Because like I said, this came out in the reverse. I feel like it's going to be like some level of justice. Or you're going to be having to observe people's work and productivity. You're going to be the person that's going through this observation of other people. Because it's, it's something about you not doing the work by yourself at all anymore. It's like you're not going to get... I just heard it's like you're not going to get this promotion without having to like eventually call certain people out for their lack of showmanship skills. Because this is the wand, so... It's looking like they're putting on some type of show. It's like an act. Uh, 
It's like a talent show or something. Yeah, you see, you see like the crowd in the background. But it's like it takes a team effort to do something. But it's like you've been successfully doing it by yourself all this time. So let me see what the what is the message for the future? You got the seven of swords. And then you got the nine of pentacles. I love this. Number one. Hold on. I don't know whoever made these cards, but they are some. I love these cards. Number one. I like how the Seven of Swords is depicted in this uh, deck. Because you know the Seven of Swords is typically where it's like um, some type of trickery, deceit, malicious maneuvers, plot, scam, setup, fraud deceptive type of bullshit but I like how you're resting and relaxing in your comfort and you're going through your transformation knowing that you're in peace and that you're in a safe haven because you see how that six of swords is down there so God has already showed you mentally and spiritually that you needed to remove yourself and separate yourself from uh, a place that you didn't need to be around people that you did not need to be around you got away you outsmart the predator you were able to gain all of the success all of the money all of the notoriety all of the fame on your own and you're sitting back mentally smart like it's like you gained so much power and and foresight because it's like you outsmarted something or somebody or, or or a situation that was set up for you to lose it's like somebody thought that you were going to sit here and put all this toil and labor and put in all this work while they sat there and slept out on a job and they came up off of your success story. No, it didn't end up like that. It did not end up like that. Because either they were under observation for their laziness. And they, and it's because of someone's laziness that your skills shine. It's like someone thought that they were getting away with something. But they helped you get away with exactly what you deserved. And that was all of the money, all of the fame, all of the recognition, everything. You being confident, you being successful, you being comfortable. When you look in your bank account, you your shit is looking like like fuck six digits. Look, we we talking about eight, nine digits. Okay? So this is some this group right here is about to be a successful millionaire. Like a self-made millionaire. It's something about your. And again, even with this eight of wands, it's like I'm still getting fame. I'm getting popularity. I'm getting like you putting on a fucking show. And it's like a one man show. It's like you don't even need anybody else. You don't need anything. You don't need. It's like you're the big fish. Like you said, like you got all of the knowledge. You got all of the integrity, you got all of the wisdom, and it's like you don't even, and it didn't come to you fast because you had to go through certain trials and tribulations through life for you to um, be able to move disgraciously. That's just like people trying to attack you and it's like you don't even get upset. It's like because that's what I expect people like that to do. I've seen situations like this many a time in my life. I know every time that you excel and you prosper in your life, you may be by yourself a lot because there's certain people that you are going to make feel uncomfortable just because of how successful and, talent and talented you are. There's certain people that are just going to want to be around you because of your success, fame, and talent. But they got to understand they can only hang around to a certain point. Because at a certain point, you can't go. You're not going to be able to go with me through these doors. The only thing you can say is that you know me. 
And then once my life has succeeded and moved past you just being able to say that you know me. You saying that you know me, you can't walk in the Grammys with me. Like, you're just, like what? I haven't seen you in years. Like, it's something like that. The Six of Swords is where you made your mind up. And God has sent you assistance and aid and help. Do you see where you're with this butterfly energy in this cocoon? You are transforming. You are, like, learning. You are, like, internally evolving to the next level into the next phase of your life you out tricked a trickster you outsmarted the slime <laughs> you feel what I'm saying <laughs> I fucking love that I fucking love that group number two what it do like y'all are some bad you a bad man my Gemma okay just as fine okay listen you didn't go through all of the toil and labor and all the um hard work and just everything that you've been through you didn't go through that for no reason it's your season baby you ain't go through that for no reason all right let's get into group number three group number three would it be if you picked the number three and if you picked this bracelets right here my dear this is your reading let's get into you boo what it do so this is your center and this car is so beautiful and then on the other side it says fruition all right now oh okay hold on it says rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition all right, I am reloaded. Come on, Divine Feminine New Levels reading. Come on, let's see what we got coming into fruition. All right, what we got? You got the hawk. All right. All right. You an apex predator, ain't you? Mm-hmm. I feel like you just, you are towering high. You like to stalk. You like to study. You like to aim with precision and swoop down and gather your prey, honey. <laughs> well, I just heard like it might have been somebody recently that you just sat back and watched patiently and you just watched them and you just watched them. And you just waited until the time was right. And you swooped down. And you gathered their ass up real quick. You just snatched them. And baby, you know like how sometimes when a hawk come through and snatch you. It's like, you didn't even know it was coming. Baby, it scared, it scared them half to death, honey. I don't know who the hell y'all done came down and snatched. And gathered and collected. Okay? <laughs> I feel like this hawk energy means business and in my in my head I'm here <laughs> I feel like you guys move with so much precision like you don't make no noise when you do make noise all the other animals run for cover because they know and they know it's like you put that little warning sign out there What is going on? I gotta see what's what's coming into fruition. It's something that you stalking that you about to aim down and snatch up and grab quickly before people don't need it. Like people not even gonna see this shit coming. And you got precise aim. Do you understand? It's like it could be something that was standing right there. And someone was about to go and purchase it. And they might have looked down to see if their shoe was untied. And as soon as they stand back up, you done took it. And you're like, where the fuck? Oh, wrong. Like, I feel like people might 
nobody realized what happened like after the fact. People might feel like <laughs> realize what happened after the whole fact. And they heard that hawk sound. Oh, real? <laughs> oh, shit. Let me, let me find out what this hawk is talking about. What is this hawk energy in the name of Jesus? Because, honey, that is how freaking Larry is. Freaking hawk sound. Come on, y'all. Where is it? I'm going to show you. Okay, the hawk. The hawk says, watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watches our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you, and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it the message should not be taken lightly though it seems small or insignificant it will eventually redirect your course when in balance sees clearly and intuitive when out of balance sees too much and suspicious you need to uh have a perspective shift all right so let's See, what we seeing into fruition right here. So you got the Sun of Swords in the reverse. And what is this? This is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. With the thoughts. Let me lay all of these cards on because I need to see everything. So you got the Page of Swords in the reverse. And the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So it could be like some type of emotional upheaval. I heard it's like a reshifting of circumstances. I heard it's like someone feel, it's feeling like possibly pouring something all out and starting all over. I heard someone has been like looking too deeply into something where it's been driving them fucking crazy someone could be like spending day in day out day in day out trying to find some information or figure out somebody's involvement or something and it's like to the point where it's like i don't want anything to do with something anymore it's like i just want to start over with my life i want to pour everything out Someone said, I no longer want to assess this individual. <clears throat> and I'm hearing again, it's like something about something swooping down and grabbing you. It's like something swoops down and gathers and collects something and it changes everything. Like, it changes everything moving forward. So, it's like something could have came into fruition. Um, I want to say it's all in, like, how you dedicate your energy. So, if there's someone that, like, dedicated their energy constantly on the thoughts that something is ruined, something isn't working, um... It could even be, okay, so like the Ten of Cups could be something that has to do with the home environment or something. Like someone is, um, <coughs> like if you could have constantly been saying like, I'm unhappy with this home, I'm unhappy with this home, I'm unhappy with this home. And then you start looking into other places to live and keep saying, I'm, I'm unhappy with this home, I'm unhappy with this home, I'm unhappy with this home. Um, I don't like living here. I don't like, um... The way the property assessment it goes, I don't like. It's just every single thing. It's like you finding several different things to just be ungrateful or unhappy or unappreciative or just like 
unsatisfied about. And it's not that you're being ungrateful or anything. It's just the truth of the reality. It's like you could be beyond a certain point of happiness of where you're at with something. And you could have gotten to the point where it's like you are obsessing about it. Like either um, with this Sun of Swords in reverse, like constantly talking about it in a negative way. Where it's like the things that you've been saying is like actually coming into fruition. It's like you may have to move like God or something like swoops down and ends up like snatching you up out of this situation. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because you kept talking about it. You kept thinking about it. You kept saying it. You kept believing it. You kept not wanting it. You kept, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like whatever it is, it's going to come into fruition. It's going to cause change because it's like something that you couldn't take anymore. And it's like you actually started either really talking about this thing negatively or looking obsessively into the newer thing that can make you feel better and that can make you feel more full and that can make you feel happier because you want to go into that ace of cups it's like I've, I'm, I'm not successful where I'm at I don't feel happy um, I don't feel love I don't feel nurtured or want to nurture this anymore I'm just ready for a new level of um comfort and fulfillment to come into my life so it's like I'm pouring everything out I'm pouring everything out I don't want anything to do with this I don't want to live here anymore I don't want to be romantically involved I don't want to be um like having family connections even if you're my family I don't want to talk to you anymore I'm not going to come and see you anymore or it's like it could be a divorce it could be something do you understand what I'm saying but it's just like I've had it. Um, I'm no longer emotionally comfortable or feel secure here. And I don't want to involve myself with this anymore. So I'm um, putting the pressure on myself to find something new to do. So when... Uh, Some place new to go. It's like this person wants to shine. They want to feel different. They want to feel in a safe space. And it's like they don't feel like that no more. Someone doesn't feel like that anymore. And with this thoughts card. It's like you could be thinking of someone else. You could be thinking of something else. You could be thinking of a new look. Uh, a, a new change in life. Like. You could be envisioning, like I said, whatever this is, it's like someone could have thought it into fruition. First to show your dreams and visions will come into fruition. And then for this thought, it's like so whatever it is that you could have seen yourself thriving or being involved with. You're going to have to face the reality of doing that now. You you understand what I'm saying? Like you're going to have to do it now. Because it's like God snatched you out of whatever that situation or whatever it was. And it just it changed your circumstances and it changed your reality. And now you, you have to do this now. So what are these other cards? You got the death card. Ooh. You got the three of wands going to the four of wands. Come on now. And then you got the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So this is very positive. Group number three. So I feel like with you guys, you guys were so positive and sure that I didn't want to do anything with this person anymore. I didn't want to commit myself. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I'm, I no longer feel successful. I don't want whatever this is anymore. And you kept talking about it. You kept praying about it. And God swooped you up out of that situation. You got the death card. So that's transformation. So um, I feel like you've paid your respect. Like it, It's like you don't have any enemies or you don't have any 
negative feelings. Um, I don't even really feel like you are in mourning because you went from that death card to that three of wands. So it's like you it's like the ending is what you was waiting for for you to know that you could go. You know, it's like you finally got your ticket, you finally got your signal, you finally got your friend like something finally showed up for you. Like that that ending is is all that you needed to happen. So again, it's like God swooped down and changed something for you like drastically. And you see how they're walking into the four of wands? They're walking into real commitment, real celebration, real marriage, real comfort, real happiness, real successful. So, like, you could be getting remarried. I don't know if you guys are getting divorced and gave yourself, like, a sense of freedom. And it's like now you are having a second chance to do something all over again. But it's like the correct way this time. But you had to end something first. And, and, and it's like you could have still been in the middle of whatever it is. And it's like your heart and everything in your soul said, I don't want it no more. I want something new. And, it, and it, you spoke this shit into existence. The seven of cups in the reverse is when someone has had all of the options that you could imagine a lot of them were good may not have lasted that long but I did see some temporary success in some of them some of them were absolutely fucking bad some of them were fucking terrible and then we've had certain things that were great but I got tempted by other options and I fucked that up so I've been through a lot of multitude of situations where I've had a lot of choices where I've had to go through that inner journey inside to figure out who I really am and what the fuck I want to do for myself that'll make me feel happy and fulfilled for once in my fucking life. It's not about, I'm no longer sacrificing a part of me for somebody else. I'm no longer not knowing who I am and looking for a substitute. It, do y'all understand what I'm saying? You know how people may not know who they truly are inside to make their self feel whole. And they look for a substitute teacher. You know what I'm saying? For someone to come and teach you how you should feel. How you should conduct yourself as a lady. How you should, what you should do to be a successful individual. Baby, the only thing you got to do is look in the man in the mirror. Can't nobody tell you about what you need, about what you want, about what you're attracted to, about what God anointment is on you. You got to go through life to discover that. You got to go through trials and tests and tribulations to really receive that. I'm not looking for nobody to give me guidance because I don't bump my head and I scrape my ass a few goddamn times. Okay? I got, I got the scars to remember. But you, you've gone through life so much where it's like you knew what you were saying when you asked God to tell. I don't, I don't, you knew what you were doing when you started obsessively looking for a new place to live. Obsessively keep telling God, I'm not happy. I don't want to be here no more. I want a divorce. I want to get this over with. God, please, I don't want. And you started looking into everything else than anything that had anything to do with this. Have y'all ever done that before? Like you might have been so unhappy in your current circumstances, you just started looking at stuff that would make you feel happy. And then eventually you, you found yourself emotionally pouring everything out that no longer fit in your existence. Because you were replacing it 
with something else. Even if it's just your imagination, even if you didn't know how you were going to get it, even if you didn't know how you were going to receive it or achieve it. But emotionally, you started getting rid of it. And then that's when the wheels started turning. And some say, all right. <laughs> then motherfuckers start ducking. Like, oh shit, God coming. Oh shit, this bitch done called him Jesus. He, she done called the motherfucking spiritual. All right. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's that three of wands. Like, she was sitting there waiting. Was like, listen, I know God coming. I hear, I hear him. I hear him. I don't know where he at, but I hear him. I hear him. Bruh. Oh, but let me God said, shut it down. Okay, shut it down. Look at look, look at the angel in the, in the shut it down. Okay, with that Phoenix transformation. Look. Group number three said, listen. What you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know about me? Uh, what you know about me? What you what you know? My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. My only bitch is junkin'. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, okay. Girl number three said, "What you know about me?" The fuck? God, I'm about to show you like what this change about to do. Like, please just listen. I just need to hear. A, I just need to know you coming. I need to. I ain't got to see you coming. I just need to know you coming. I just. I'm gonna start packing up my shit. And look, you sitting up there standing, waiting, and then look, somebody else heard, was like, shit, I thought God was talking to me too. They were like, where you going? Shit, I'm going, where you going? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck right into the full ones. The fuck? Stop, look. Shit. Shit. Listen, I can't take y'all group number three. Group number three. Because I was a little nervous at first because I was just like, the page of swords in the reverse and the ten of cups in the reverse. But then I was like paying attention to like how everything was creating so much color. Sometimes you got to pour everything the fuck out to get everything that you need to receive back in, man. Yeah, man. I don't. Like, have you ever been to a restaurant and at first you ordered a coffee because you felt like that's what you needed in the morning, but then once your food came out, you felt like it was too heavy and you needed something else you ain't wanted no more? You needed something more refreshing? Water? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's like. I'm the right to change my decision. I feel like that's the truth. Let's see. Last group here. Group number four. What it do? If you have picked the Pisces, treat me nice, please. If you pick this Pisces sign in the Smoky Quartz bracelet, this is all about you, boo. What it do? Let's see what your center energy is, my dear. It's inner worlds, okay? Your external world is reflecting your inner world, okay? The way you feeling on the inside is reflecting on the outside. All right. Let's see how you are feeling on the inside. What is the mindset for my group number four? Can you tell me some more? Oh, Lord, you got the crocodile. Okay, girl, you were ferocious. What is going on with you, girl? What is going on with you? Boo! Girl! <laughs> what is going on with this? Because That's why I felt like I needed to break this down in the sections. Because I felt like each group was going to have like a different energy going on. This one right here is going a little bit crazy. Like... What I'm feeling is like if your internal psyche is full of toxicity and chaos, your outer world is eventually going to start showing up that way as well. <clears throat> 
I feel like with this crocodile, I feel like you're tough. And you can take on a lot, but you're not as... I, I, I feel like you're not as ferocious as you think. Like, you're, you're, you're very soft on the inside. Like, this is a water sign energy. Um, now, there's a lot of ferocious creatures in the um, marine kingdom. In the, in the, in the, yeah, is it marine kingdom or whatever? Just water creatures, but... I feel like your external... Um, exterior is extremely brutal and like you have to um be aggressive because i want to say like you're extremely sensitive and it could be something going on right now group number four that it got you extremely fucked up right now okay I'm feeling like you, you, you're trying to come to some understanding about your positioning in this world. And it's like what you need to do and how to move forward. But it's like something going on that got you going a little crazy right now. And then <clears throat> I'm looking at them eyes. <clears throat> I had, Like as soon as I seen the eyes, it said green with envy. So I don't know what that's about. This group, I feel like they could be kind of jealous or angry or envious of somebody. Cause it's like the it's like the eyes is getting it's like this this car is freaking me out. I'm not even about to hold you. Let me see what else is going on. <clears throat> Why are you getting this message? You got the temperance and the moon. So these are two major arcana cards. Yeah, so it's like you need to gather yourself. Um, I feel like for this group right here, it's like you really need to gather yourself. Because you know what's going on. Um, you're more aware than what you think you do. Like, you may be going to outside people looking for information about what's inside. And then it's like your inside, your internal gut is telling you the truth. And it's like, it's, it's driving you crazy because it's like you don't know what to believe. It's like you got to trust yourself a little bit more along this journey. I really need to know what the hell is going on with this. Because these are two major arcana cards. And it's telling me it, it is something going on that you do need to know about. And I feel like you, you, you're not stupid. You know, you know what's going on. And... Because I feel like you're going through this internal fight with this temperance card is you knowing what you you need to do and like trusting yourself, God in the universe, what God is tell, and telling you. It's like the temperance is being grounded but spiritually led at the same time, you know? I know. It's like you could wake up one day and be like, I know what I need to do. I'm going to do it. I'm tough. I'm emotionally secure with this crocodile energy. I'm, uh, ain't nobody going to make me feel like shit. Because it could be something that's going on right now that could be making you feel in a way that you shouldn't be able to feel. Because the crocodile and the swamps and all of this. Like, man, that's, an ape, that's another apex. But like, people should be scared of you. But it's like... I feel like you're being put in an environment that kind of make you feel uncomfortable a little bit. Where it's like you needing to ground yourself and trust your faith a lot. Because it's something about you don't. With this moon, it's like you questioning about what's going on. It's like some things don't make sense or feel eerie or feel strange. 
and it's like your psyche your internal alarm system is like hey pay attention something something ain't what the fuck you got the mature woman you got the nine of cups the nine of pentacles in the reverse you got the nine of cups and then you got more cards than everybody you got the nine of cups you got the page of swords and then the hierophant I just heard you could be on the outside looking in at a situation It's like you learning to trust your inner knowing. Like you knew. It's like something could have been going on in front of your face. God, I want to go more into this, but I, I really can't, man. I really can't. I, okay, so this is what I'm going to say with this. Um... My group number four. You got to trust your intuition. You got to know what you know when you know what you know what you know what you know. So with this nine of pentacles and this nine of cups right here. It's like. You could have had good intentions. Emotionally. But it's like you might not have had enough time or. You might not have been in the right position. It might not have been the right opportunity. But emotionally, you wanted to do something. But you know, you knew something wasn't going to work out for you in some sort of way. It was, it's like you would have been selling yourself short physically. But emotionally, you might have felt gratified or felt led to do something. But it, it, it would have physically hurt you. But emotionally giving you something that you wanted and needed are y'all making are y'all feel are y'all understanding me like have you ever had something that you know like all right i want to go buy this new gucci bag but i know i only have enough money in my account for this gucci bag but i need to pay my rent but i want to go out this weekend and i need this gucci bag to go with my outfit but if I buy this Gucci bag, I'm not going to be able to pay my rent and I'm going to end up getting put out the following week. But you still go out and go buy the Gucci bag because it's going to emotionally make you feel good for that weekend. But now you ain't got no money and you're being put in, a, in an unfortunate situation when you knew this is something that you should not have materially invested in and done you know what i'm saying so it's like not being led by your emotions to do something that you know your intuition is is is, is alarming you that it's not right you following me you following me Because now it's like I'm looking at this and it's like someone is saying, hey, come here, come move over here, come. Like, I don't know, it's like someone's asking you to move, to come follow them, to come do something. But it's like you can't afford to do it. Or it's not reality, like whatever it is, it's like a dream, it's like a pipe dream, it's like a, um. I feel like someone's playing with your emotions to set you up to fail. This could have been something that you could have done already. The moon is like illusions too. It's like you could have felt for an illusion. It was an illusion. But it was like there was warning signs. There were. It was warning signs. So it's like it could have been something that you didn't pay attention to in the fine print. It's like whatever the situation was, <clears throat> I feel like you're committed to it now. It's like you're committed. It's like you, 
you know in your, your mind and your gut is like it's like I committed myself to these circumstances now it's like it's like whatever it is it's already done it's like laying your sword down it's like having to take a vow or oath It's like somebody do something anyway. Why do I feel like this crocodile is watching somebody do this? It's like someone's laying their sword down and, to, and making a vow. It's like temperance, balance, honor. Over here it's like confusion, secrets, like not making wise decisions and I feel on my and it's his inner worlds I don't okay I'm just going to keep it 100 I feel like over here there could have been someone that was sold some type of falsehood illusion a lie um, cause again, I'm, I'm like the nine of pentacles has to do with time, investment, money, like learning as well, education. So it's like someone could have gone through a situation before it's like they not learning or it's, it could have been a repeated, someone could have been re re repetitively doing something. And it's like you fall for the situation again. But this time it's like something is permanent. Something is grounded. Something is being tempered at this time. Something is being phased down. Somebody is having to face the reality and be mature and understand like... So I feel like someone with this crocodile energy, someone is having to be mature about the results or the reality of something of where everybody was involved. I feel like someone could have got played. Someone could have been told a lie. Someone could have been sold an illusion. Could have told someone that they would, you know, try to sell someone like some type of false tale of happiness and inclusion when it really wasn't like that. You know, it would just give them a moment of inclusion and happiness for a moment. But it wasn't going to value them in the situation the way that they thought it would. Like, I'm not going to pay you. I'm not going to give you the time. I'm not going to give you the advancement. Like, you're going to shortchange yourself. You're going to lose Everything that you invested in this situation, all over a lie, all over illusion, where someone could have just easily trusted their intuition, where it told them not to do this in the beginning. And it's like, now you got to be mature. And again, it's like, I, I'm hoping like someone is not having like a moment of like envy and greed. And just like hate here. I, I got I gotta see what the fuck did, did I did I read what the crocodile said? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. What does the crocodile say? I don't think I did. They really need to have like index in this book. It probably do, but I have no idea what it is. <sighs> the crocodile. It says resisting, submerging, collecting energy, cooling off. The crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inwards. Now is not the time for decisions, actions, or discussions. The crocodile mantra is to wait. This doesn't mean lying around Hoping life changes 
um, well, life challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering your awareness, observing, and building your energy. Fill up the vital reserves for your next move to come from a place of wisdom and power. When in balance, wise, patient, um, a silent powerhouse. When out of balance, feels stuck and lashes out. I'm trying to tell you, somebody in this group feels wronged. Someone feels played, tricked, and played with. While they're over here having to balance their emotions. And like it says, for this group, it's saying that your external world is reflected by your inner world. If your inner world is going crazy, if you are seething on your insides, if you are just sitting back waiting, because I just, ooh, I just feel like it's just some level of just, ooh, building up here. Oh my God. And like, and it's like you're trying to be your most mature self by staying quiet. But someone is burning on the inside. And like I said, it's some level of jealousy and envy and hate. It's because it's like someone was sold a motherfucking dream. And they're sitting over here watching this person show growth and be balanced and be honest and lay their sword down and, and, and be truthful and be a person of integrity. And, and, and <laughs> what? What? I, I mean, uh. y'all, I really do just feel like, um, I don't know if this is it, ladies. I don't know if this is someone watching you be the person of temperance where you're balanced, you're grounded, you're faith driven. Page of Swords is like. Listen, I am educating myself. I'm, I don't want to talk. I don't want to argue. I don't want to, like, you are so lighthearted. You are um, such a high-spirited person. Such, I mean, you are pleasant energy to be around. Like y'all, this is a happy person. This energy I'm getting over here is totally different. And you got the hierophant. I'm I'm trying to tell you. So it's like you're dedicated to your teachings. You're dedicated to. It's like you're committing yourself to your um beliefs. Like wholeheartedly committed. So I don't know, you could, some, and there's somebody that could have changed the way that they are. Like they could be more into spirituality and, and church or faith driven. Or like I said, this person is married now. They're committed in some type of way. Where it's, I mean, I mean, completely turned off to whoever they were in a past life, in a past world. They're tempered, they're changed, they're married. It's like... Someone is, is a whole totally different person over here. And someone over here feels like they were being manipulated and lied to and led astray. And this motherfucker is burning. And I don't know if you're the mature person now. And 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 it, it could be if y'all group number four is somebody that is sitting back waiting. And that is seeping right now. They are fucking seeping. And I feel like y'all need to know that shit. And I, I, I didn't even know, but I, I just knew when I seen this card. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Paging me at five forty six in the moment. Crack a donut. Now I'm yawning. Wipe the cold out my eye and see who was this paging me and why. Instead of man pop at the barber shop. Let me stop. Oh I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all hit the motherfucker like button. Y'all let me know what the fuck is cracking off upon this shit. The fuck? I see y'all on a Monday. On a good Monday morning manifesting. Reading shit. This shit did. Number four took me out. Shit, I gotta get up and shimmy and shake. I'm gone.